Greetings and salutations from your friendly neighborhood Canvas lady. Today I want to show you how to create choice boards in Canvas. So I've already done a lot of the preliminary work. I've got my pictures picked out and uh, where I want it at and everything like that already set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And you can create choice boards anywhere in Canvas where you have this rich content editor. So you can do it under assignments, you can do it under pages like I am, or in your discussion boards, wherever you like. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a table. And I want mine two by two. This is just a matter of preference. And then I start inserting my images. I have already uploaded my images to Canvas, so I'm just going to go to um, the images I've already got uploaded. And this image, whenever you upload an image for a choice board, you want to make sure that all of your images are the exact same size. Otherwise, your board's going to look really wonky and it's just not going to look good. It's not going to look right. So I'm making all four of these images that I'm embedding uh, the same size. So I resize it 320 by 320 and click done. And I'm going to go ahead and insert the rest of my pictures and then I will take you on to the next step. All right, so I have all of my images put in now. And I'm going to go ahead and check for accessibility. And this says that tables require a caption and a header, but since we're doing a choice board, that's not really an issue. More than anything, I just want to check and make sure that my colors are good and that it meets accessibility standards. So um, just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. To make a nice looking choice board, I don't want it to look like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these images on the left side and align them to the right side of the table so that they're all nice and centered like so. And because I'm picky, I don't want these boxes and borders. Um, this isn't, this isn't something that you have to do. I just think that it looks a lot nicer. So uh, to get rid of these lines here, I go to Table Properties, Advanced, Border Style, Hidden, and Save. And it makes those disappear. And then I've got to do the same thing. Make sure that you have your table highlighted. Um, I've got to do the same thing for the row to get rid of that middle line. And Hidden save and that's what it's going to look like so um, my next step is to start linking to these pictures so for example <clears throat> i have a page that i created called course structure and policies so i click and highlight this image go up to link course links I select the page that I want it to link to, and that's all there is to it. So you have your link already right here, and it shows you what the link is and everything if you want to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it so you can see what it looks like. So um, you can tell if you've already linked to a picture or not, because when you mouse over it, it turns into this nice little pointy hand. Um, obviously, I have not done these yet, but whenever a student comes in and looks at this choice board, um, they'll click on the image and it takes them to where you want them to go. This is just a neat way to um, make your courses more interactive and provide different options for students. Um, I really like this. I created all of these images 
Um, this one I swiped from Google, but the rest of these I created using Canva. If you'd like more information on that, I'd be happy to share that. Um, and I believe that about wraps it up. I'm going to go ahead and link the rest of my information and call it a day. So I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day.